Good morning, children. A very warm welcome to the next video of the fish tail. In this video, I am going to explain you how to solve the question which I gave to you as homework in the previous video. That is question on page number 9. And we will move further from there. So come little children, let's start. In this video, we were supposed to discuss the question on page 9. The question is, which boat gets how much? In the chapter, there are four types of boats. Log boat, long tail boat, motor boat and machine. Log boat can catch 20 kilograms of fish in one trip and its speed is 4 km per hour. Long tail boat can catch 60, 600 kg of fish and it can travel 12 km in one hour. Motor boat can catch 800 kg of fish and the speed of motor boat is 20 km per hour. Machine boat can catch 6000 kg of fish. Since it has got equipment, refrigerators and so many things in the boat itself, it can preserve 6000 kg of fish and it can travel 22 km in one hour. Now, about how much fish in all will each type of boat bring in seven trips? Children, all the boats will make seven trips each. And we have to find out how much of fish will be brought by these boats in seven trips. Now, log boat, in one trip, she will, it will carry 20 kilogram. In another trip, 20 kilogram in another trip 20 like this every trip 20 20 kilograms it will carry so we are going to add 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 we are going to add 27 times repeated addition means multiplication so we are going to multiply 20 by 7 7 twos are is 14 so, 720s are is 140 kilograms. So, log boat in 7 trips will get 140 kilograms. Long tail boat. In one trip, long tail boat can carry 600 kilograms of fish. It can bring 600 kilograms. And in 7 trips, how much it will bring? 600 multiplied by 7. 7 6 is 42. So 600 7 is 4200 or 4200 kilograms of fish. Machine boat can bring 800 kilograms of fish in one trip. Now in 7 trips, it will bring 800 multiplied by 7. 8 7 is 56. So, 807 za will be 5600. What we do is, we multiply 8 and 7. 8 7 za is 56. And 6, since 800 has two zeros at the back, we put two zeros here also at the back. This is the shortcut to this kind of multiplication. Machine boat can get 6000 kilograms of fish in one trip. So in seven trips, it will get 6000 multiplied by seven. Again, six sevens are, is 42. And in six thousands, there, there are three zeros. So after 42, we will have three zeros. That makes 42,000 kilograms. Okay. Now children, the fisherwomen have brought 
different types of fish to the market. Different types of fish have different tastes. Some people prefer sardine or and some people may prefer prawns. So these kind of fish these kind of fish have different rates. This is the price list of these fish. Sardine, for instance, costs rupees 40 for 1 kilogram. And Mini is selling sardine. Swordfish costs rupees 60 for 1 kilogram. And Gracie is selling swordfish. Prawns cost rupees 150 for 1 kilogram. And Floramma is selling prawns. Squid cost rupees 50 for 1 kilogram. And Karuthamma is selling squid. Now, kingfish, one kingfish itself is very big. So, one kingfish is 8 kgs in weight. So, the cost of one kingfish, which is 8 kgs in weight, is rupees 1200. And Fazila is selling this. Now, let us do some questions based on this price list. The first question is. At what price per kilogram did Fazila sell the kingfish? 8 kilograms heavy kingfish cost rupees 1200. Cost of 8 kilogram kingfish is rupees 1200. But Fazila will cut this kingfish into parts and then she will sell it because nobody will buy kingfish which is 8 kilograms in weight. Nobody wants this big a kingfish. So she will sell it in cages, half kg, 1 kg, 2 kg, 1.5 kg like that. So the cost of 1 kg kingfish should be more than 1200 or less than 1200? Obviously, it should be less than 1200. 8 kg kingfish will be, will, if will be divided into 8 equal parts. Then one part will be 1 kg. So let us find the cost of 1 kg kingfish. Cost of 1 kg kingfish will be 1200 divided by 8. Why are we dividing? Since we are selling the kingfish by cutting it into pieces. Cutting means dividing. Dividing into pieces. If we divide kingfish into 8 equal pieces, every piece will be 1 kg. So, cost of 1 kg kingfish is 1200 divided by 8. You can do it in your notebook and you will get the answer rupees 150. So, cost of 1 kg kingfish is rupees 150. How much money did Floramma get? for selling 10 kg prawns. Now, please see in the table, what is the cost of 10 kg prawns? Sorry, 1 kg prawns. 1 kg prawns costs rupees 150. We have to find the cost of 10 kg prawns. Let us do that. Cost of 1 kg prawns is rupees 150. Cost of 10 kg prawns will be 150 plus 150 plus 150 plus 150. 
like this we have to add it 10 times or we can multiply 150 by 10 cost of 10 kg prawns is equal to 150 multiplied by 10 that is equal to rupees 1500 again to do quick multiplication we multiply 15 by 1 15 vanza is 15 now we have two zeros one zero is there in 150 and another zero is there in 10 so we will put two zeros at the back so 150 tenza is rupees 1500 now children this is a very good question gracie sold 6 kg sword fish and she must have got some money after selling 6 kg sword fish mini has earned as much money as Gracie, how many kilograms of sardines did Mini sell? We have to find it out. I repeat the question and I explain the question once again. Gracie sold 6 kg sword fish. She is selling sword, sword fish and Mini is selling sardines so mini has earned same money as gracie by selling sardines these two fishes have different rates so let us first find out how much money has gracie got by selling 6 kg sword fish cost of 1 kg sword fish is rupees 60 Cost of 6 kg sword fish is 60 multiplied by 6 because it is 6 kgs. So for every kg you have to pay 60 rupees. For 6 kg you have to pay 60 multiplied by 6. Again 6 6 is 36. So 60 6 is rupees 360. Now Gracie has got rupees 360. Money earned by Gracie by selling 6 kg sword fish is rupees 360. Now Mini also has earned this much money only. Money earned by Gracie is equal to money earned by Mini. Both of them have earned same amount of money. Gracie has earned her rupees 360 and Minnie has earned her rupees 360. Now let us find out how many kilograms of sardines did Minnie sell. Money earned by Minnie on selling sardines is rupees 360. And amount of sardines for rupees 40 is equal to 1 kg this is the cost of sardines it means if you want to buy 1 kg sardines you will have to pay rupees 40 and if she has earned rupees 360 we have to imagine how many kilograms of sardines has she sold let us see amount of sardines for, for rupees 360 will be 360 divided by 40. That is equal to 9 kilograms. So, Mini sold 9 kilograms of sardines. For, for rupees 40 children, we can buy 1 kg. So, naturally for rupees 360, we can buy 9 kilograms and for, we will divide 360 by 40 and the answer will be 9. So this is how we have found out how much of sardines did Mini sell. 
for today. That's all. We will study the rest of the chapter in our next video. Till then, bye children. Take care.